This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an old mechanical keypad deadbolt that was sent to me by Ken in New Jersey, and it's a very common design. This one says digital and is made in Japan. They actually still make a similar product, as do a number of other companies, mostly out of China. Here's an example of one out of my collection. Now, decoding these tends to be fairly easy when they're in good working condition. And despite this one's age and apparent wear, it does seem to work reasonably well. The trick to decoding these is to apply heavy tension to the knob, then probing each one of the buttons. All of the buttons will be springy, but an experienced hand will feel that some buttons have two stages of spring tension. It'll start light, then get slightly heavier before you hit a stop. Other buttons will have only one stage before you hit that solid stop. It's the second type of button that indicates the button needs to be pressed. I should also note that the order in which you press the buttons doesn't matter, so a code of 1234 is the same as 4321. Let's give this a try. Now, I would normally change the combination first, but that requires partial disassembly, and I could never do it without knowing the new combination. So I left the original code. The first thing we're going to do is push C to clear everything out. You can see the knob will not turn. So let's apply some tension and get to work. Okay, number one, I feel two stages. Number six, I feel that stop pretty clearly. Same on seven. Same on two. Okay, eight definitely has two stages. So it is three. So does four, same on nine. Okay, five, I'm hitting that stop after one stage. Two stages there. Two stages on the X. We're hitting that stop after one on Z, it's pretty clear. And there we go, the knob turned. Okay, folks, that was obviously pretty easy. Though if someone inexperienced were to try this, it would likely take several attempts before they got the feel for it. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.